fun little experiment with the locks today. I hope I'm not like their worst case. I have, I'm like actually nervous. I'm going to a specialist and I'm still like, sorry. Like I feel like I should apologize before I go in. Hello, bestie. Get hype, okay? I need you to get hype. Today is the day. What day is it, Bria? I'm not a mind reader, I'll tell you. One of the most asked like questions, comments, I get, well, pretty much everyone always asks questions about my hair, especially when it's not in braids. Like obviously when it's in braids, I can't really tell you a whole lot, it is what it is. But when my natural hair is out, people have questions. I typically style my hair um, with heat. But yeah, so I typically get asked, Bria, why don't you wear your natural hair? And the honest to God truth is A, my hair is heat damage. And when I say heat damage, I feel like people don't even understand what that means because people think like just because it's heat damage that my hair itself is like not healthy and breaking off and all the things. But you can safely style your hair. I used to not style my hair safely because I was 12 years old. I bought like a $2 hair straightener. So yes, we had some crispy ends going on in my junior high, high school days. And then I eventually started to learn how to use better products, heat protectant, all those things. So most of you know, when you see my hair straight, it's very shiny, it's very healthy. It has been growing and I'm, I'm very happy with the way that I choose to style my hair because I'm doing it in the best way possible. Now, that does affect my curl pattern. When you style your hair repeatedly, anyone knows like your curls are just not gonna be as popping anymore I've been doing this since I was literally like maybe junior high I would say I don't think I was like styling my hair before that but I mean it's been a long time and where I want to make sure that you guys understand why it has been that way is because I just didn't learn I didn't know how to style my natural hair I mean and this is just like no shade to my mom she didn't know how to do it either she always styled her hair so I was a byproduct of that and I was okay with that. I didn't have a desire to necessarily wear my natural hair. High school, college is really when we saw natural hair becoming something that a lot more women of color started to embrace. I don't think it's fair to say like that that was always the trend because it wasn't. Once you decide to go natural and really enhance your curls again, you have to go through that awkward period. It's like it's like growing your brows out. <laughs> if you really want them to be nice and full, you have to like go through that awkward phase of like bushy. You know what I'm saying? It's a journey. That's why it's called a natural hair journey because it's it's truly that and also I've tried to do some like natural hair things before and the internet is mean so like um, I set boundaries like you know if I offer up information I'm being like transparent and vulnerable with you guys sometimes people just kind of ruin that and so <laughs> It's really hard to start that journey. Like, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys, I will always style my hair with heat. Maybe not as much, which is why I've decided to wear braids more and, you know, flip-flop between it. I have noticed that since wearing braids this past year, that my curls are a little bit more defined, which is really exciting because I love wearing braids. It's very cute, it's very convenient, so that gives me a lot of hope that I can keep working towards this. But also another reason that I have not worn my natural hair is because people are just straight up annoying about it. You know the drill. like black women wearing like their natural afros and whatever it's always like a topic of conversation it is literally like the natural way we exist and sometimes you don't feel like giving the pre the presentation on it like i i have worn my natural hair before and i didn't like that i had to constantly explain it to people <laughs> like it's my hair i mean and it's fine sometimes but it gets old and quite frankly, I could have never personally imagined like the days when I was working in corporate America, I could have never imagined wearing my natural hair, never. I know it would have been a topic of discussion and I know that clients would have treated me differently. Probably people around the office would have treated me differently. It sucks that it has to be that way. It sucks that if I straighten my hair, you take me more serious. It sucks that if I don't wear my curls or my natural hair that I'm not like some science experiment and I felt that it's annoying and it really knocked my confidence down to ever want to wear my natural hair. I mean it's ironic that it's what's natural for like us with our hair is 
so unnatural to a lot of people and I guess I just really had to be in the mood and the mindset to deal with that. Thanks to the internet, I don't care about what people have to say about me too much anymore so I think now is a really good time to try it out. I'm gonna go to a curly specialist that helps people that are literally going through the exact same thing where like they've never really started their natural hair journey or maybe they are curly girls already and they need like a curly cut or a curly color. I don't wanna put a lot of pressure on this experience because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I, I just wanted to do this video to kind of show like the process and some options that you have if you ever wanna do the same thing, but I don't know how this is gonna come out, and I think for me, I just have to be like really confident in it. Step one, we are going to take out these braids. Here's what you need to take out your braids. <laughs> you need a bag to put the extra hair in. You have to get some scissors to go cut these off, and um, I use this mirror to see what I'm doing. And then you need your computer or your TV because it's gonna be a while, so you might wanna get comfortable. This always stresses me out because, well, this is literally my hair color. Every time, every time, you would think I would know where my hair stops. It's better to overshoot it and just go from there. So I've been watching this new show on Hulu called Shrill, and you guys should all watch it. I don't know if it's like this new birth control that I'm on, but I just like completely sobbed at this show. Like the main character is like a plus size woman who's also a journalist. And there's like a scene in the show where she goes to a plus size party and it's like all these beautiful curvy women in swimsuits and they're dancing and they don't care what anybody thinks. And it's like the first time that she like experiences like actual freedom and acceptance of who she is and she's like dancing and having the best time and i was like sobbing I'm like Whoa, why doesn't everybody get to feel this way i hate it here okay anyways watch it on hulu wouldn't that be so cool if this was my natural hair it ain't so if it was whew, I would be the baddest bitch. I need to go wash it now. There's a lot of a lot of secrets in here. This right here is 20 years of styling my hair. It will be a miracle if they can get these curls, which I don't think exist, to actually come to life. I don't really have anything in my hair right now except for Miss Jessie's pillow soft curls and i'm just gonna let them do their thing and see where we go with this it just keeps getting bigger and bigger by the second um anyways i'm on my way to the curly specialist i feel very crazy like i didn't style it or anything hardly put any product in it but i want them to like work their magic so it is what it is but i feel kind of crazy and also they don't want you to put your hair up they don't want you to do like have any creases in it so they can see everything as it is which i think is a really smart idea but also it means i have to leave the house looking like this hello natural hair journey i honestly cannot believe i'm doing this on youtube on the internet for everyone to also be able to have an opinion about it because i would probably say like this is one of my biggest insecurities which is why i don't even bother with it because it's not like i could have a natural hair journey without doing it in front of thousands of people what is that that we say no pressure no diamond okay i'm here it's called moxie the place i'm going to they're also doing my bridesmaids hair and i wanted to work with them because they specialize in textured hair and i just gotta make sure that everybody in my bridal party feels good like it sucks that you have to um think about if someone knows how to do your texture of hair, I have been to places and I have walked out looking like I got electrocuted. And it's just not fair. When I am like in my friends' weddings and there's events, or even when I have like photo shoots and there's hair and makeup provided, I always have to ask. 
do they know how to do my hair? It sucks because I know like if I had like white girl hair that I wouldn't have to worry, but you just have to go the extra mile sometimes. And I'm really thankful for places like this that understand that it should just be a basic. They're bringing me rosé. Mm -hmm. So I'm using Innersense Hydration. It smells good. It does, it smells really good. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing I want you to really remember, so the products that we're using right now, they're very, very clean, I will say that. Mm -hmm. And if you're using products that are not water soluble, mm -hmm. mixing in, it will not get your hair clean. I see. Like some people, they are still kind of crisscrossing between which products, like Curl Smith or something like that. Yeah. Those products require a lot of detergent to be able to get out of your hair. Uh, Our products, the Innersense products, do not. Okay. Yeah, definitely gonna need all of these. Yes. <laughs> hey, Zana. I'm just basically trying to trap as much heat that I possibly can in your hair. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put you into the dryer for about 20 minutes, I think. Perfect. Really let this stuff absorb in. seen my hair do this shape so <laughs> that is a great sign I'm so excited okay flip over yep so all I'm doing now is just diffusing because you're still really wet through here mm -hmm. so I just want to make sure because I do not want to break up your hair at all mm -hmm. until you are 100% dry that makes sense yep because you want the product to be able to do its job. If you break it up before it has a chance to 100% harden, it's not gonna be able to do its job. Mm. I'm actually stunned that we were able to get this much curl. I have never seen my hair with this much shape, which gets me excited for this journey. Like obviously I have a long way to go, but there is hope. The curls are there. They want to come out. They want to come play. And I got a bunch of goodies to start this. I didn't really want to like, you know, start the natural hair journey in the winter here because your hair will literally turn to a popsicle. I was talking to Kylie, the girl who did my hair, and she was telling me about, you know, a biracial girl who was adopted into a white family. I mean, it was so deep for her that she literally is in therapy because she like resented her hair because, and it's, it's literally, it sucks so much because like when you grow up, you see like, all the movie stars and all the models and they all have straight hair so it's like why do I have this and you resent yourself and I think I could relate to that so much there's a weird vibe around this topic and it's like people can be really mean about it and not it doesn't matter why someone doesn't have a curl pattern or doesn't wear their hair natural like I think it's really important to be sensitive to it because you just never know like the circumstances like I've I personally just really wasn't in an environment to learn, but I just want to encourage you all to be really sensitive to this. Like this is, I never thought that I would do this publicly. I always thought it would be something that I would just do on the DL because I feel like there's so many people who are going to give their opinions and stuff. And sometimes it's not in the nicest way. And I don't want to be like discouraged from this. Now I, I kind of see like so much benefit because I wish there was a girl like me who was trying to find her curls and I wish that I had like found someone in their journey um, because I think it would have made me more comfortable so that's why I'm gonna share it and that's why I'm gonna start this and just kind of take you guys along and hopefully like provide some education on how you can do this yourself if you want to go more natural I'm waiting in line for my dinner but can I just say 
that the girls at Moxie and Kylie were so, so kind and so helpful and educational. Like the whole time Kylie was explaining to me what she was doing, why she was doing it, explaining all the different terms with curly hair. I learned about porosity, saturating my hair, like how to work in product. It was seriously so worth every penny because it wasn't just like, oh, we're gonna style you and send you off. Like a real, curly specialist is going to give you the tools because it's not just like you can come pop in and be successful with a natural hair journey you have to seriously be given the keys to success so i appreciated that so much and i will definitely be going back i truly wish more people had access to salons like moxie that specialize in curly hair because i stand by what i say when i say that i don't think people who do hair should be able to do hair if they can't do all kinds of hair it's not fair you don't treat it the same like you just don't and i learned today like in expressing my insecurities that a lot of people have the same insecurities like we should have to call a salon and say do you do black hair do you do it let me know <laughs> like we shouldn't have to do that but i learned that this is like so normal for people to feel this way it sucks but you got to get the confidence to to commit to the journey and when you do like it gets better <laughs> and it's so funny because kylie said there are girls who will literally come in and apologize about their hair i was like oh my gosh like i literally felt the same way before i came in here and she's like oh my god no and i was like i thought it would be your worst case she was like are you joking if you're working with a professional they've seen every possible scenario and you are not the worst case and you are in likely good hands if this is what they specialize in. So I can't wait to take you guys on this journey, but just wanted to add that little note. Okay, make sure that you subscribe for this natural hair journey because it is just getting started. I can't wait to like a year from now, check all of this out and be like, oh my God, look how far we've come. Like we are evolving. So subscribe for the natural hair care journey. And of course, as per usual, I will see you guys next week. Bye.